the Rotary Club of Makati Premier District set to hold an online fundraising concert to support children who lack distance learning gadgets. For more on this initiative, we are joined by Leah Quesada, President-elect of the Rotary Club of Makati Premier District. Good morning from the Philippines, Leah. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Mike. How are you? All right. So first off, could you tell us more about the We Are One concert? When and where will it be held? Who are the people involved? Sure. Uh, we Are One concert is a concert that will be held on November 20, 8 p.m. Manila time. And it's, uh, it's for the benefit of poor children and teachers in need of distance learning gadgets, uh, whether those are tablets or PCs. And it will be featured by the Philippines musical powerhouse like Martin Nivera, mm -hmm. um, Zaza Batilia, yes, and uh, Christian Bautista Morissette, and four other uh, fabulous musicians like Ivan Neri, Nicole, Orchestra of the Philippine, um, uh, Filipino uh, uh, youth, and, and uh, as well as inner voices. So mm -hmm. it will be a fabulous event, and uh, you could buy. Could I tell you guys the the website where you can buy them? Yeah. It's at bit. It's at bit. Dot slash we are one dash today, and for so only fifteen hundred. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's the link, okay. and for only one thousand five hundred pesos, you will enjoy a beautiful evening, and you will be helping out children and teachers in need. Mm -hmm. And would so, this be held online or? Yes, it will be a Zoom link, and so it will be live, and uh, we're hoping that everyone will, will come and enjoy the show. All right, and why a concert? How was this organized amid a pandemic? Yeah, sure. Uh, when the pandemic started, um, we created this theme around all our efforts for the community, and we called it We Are One. You know, We mm -hmm. Are One stands for a belief system that although the pandemic has physically separated us, it has put us together because we are one in really um, being able to overcome this challenge. And so last year we had already a can concert and we called it We Are One. It, mm -hmm. And it had phenomenal, phenomenal uh, take with many supporters, also for um, the benefit of children uh, with uh, tablet needs. And uh, this time we are expanding it. Uh, because we find that t uh, uh, not only are there still many children who need tablets, they are also suffering from lack of data load, right? Mm -hmm. And then, and then we have just adopted a uh, community in in which is a, uh, in Lagadlarin, Batangas, and their challenge there is teachers still don't have PCs or they have broken PCs. So as you can see, all we're trying to do here is just to make remote learning as efficient as possible mm -hmm. for both the children and for, uh, for the teachers. So this would be the second time around, Lali. This, so, this is the second time around, yes. Right. But um, why have you chosen to highlight the needs of less fortunate children and the teachers under the challenges of social distance learning? I mean, why choose this advocacy? Yeah, so, you know, the pandemic has hurt many things in the economy. I see your news, right? It's all about bad news. But the mm -hmm. thing that uh, one of the other casualties is really education, right? And our, our club's advocacy, one of three advocacies is early literacy and, and, um, and numeracy. The other th two are cancer screening and community development. And so why is the, and, and, and governments all over the world, right? They struggle. They struggle between what is more important, the health and safety of the public or their public duty for education. Mm -hmm. And so why is this important to us? It's important to us because it's not just for the children and for the teachers, it's about saving a generation, right? It's saving a generation mm -hmm. of, 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 of students now who are our future leaders in our country. And so if we save our this generation, that they have proper schooling, that they're fully engaged, we we secure a future that's not just for them, it's for all of us. So that's how we holistically see it. Agreed. So um, where will you be sourcing these gadgets for the kids and how will you be disseminating them? Sure. Um, so um, we, we basically uh, work with a supplier that provides us basically a volume 
hopefully discount mm -hmm. like, as they did last year. And um, we have prioritized the schools where um, we're giving them out. Last year, it was significantly more uh, dire because many schools needed them, right? And so we focused first on our um, on, on our uh, spot, um, what do you, uh, community that we have adopted, the Barangay Sigamas, and we have given out uh, tablets there. And then we also gave out tablets in Santa Rosa, the Santa Rosa Elementary School in La Paz. Mm -hmm. And we have um, given out a total of 235 tablets last year. Wow. And so this year, this year we're focusing more on, okay, th this community that is the, particularly the sec, this is our second adopted community in Lagadlarin, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the children there still need um, tablets. The teachers need PCs. And more importantly, mm -hmm. if you're in a remote place, you need data loads. The internet's mm -hmm. not as good, right? And so, and so we're expanding to a different community and we have other projects with this different adopted community as uh, a second adopted community we have like Adlarian. And so we're hoping to do a lot of great things with, with the proceeds of, of, this, um, of this concert. Mind you, last year we conducted a study on the effects of having a tablet for children. And, um, and, and, and we sampled basically uh, the recipients and we found uh, some very interesting results. Basically, uh, they're more engaged um, mm -hmm. Secondly, they um, they can keep up with their work, and thirdly, which we did, which surprised us is their self confidence. Their self confidence oh, yeah. increased, mm -hmm. right? And so this is you know it's more than a tablet, it's more than a PC. You know UNICEF cited the Philippines as um, well. I don't know if you know, but the Philippines is the only country in the world today mm -hmm. that is where schools are not open yet. Oh yeah, and UNICEF. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and UNICEF has cited a very interesting study where they said that, particularly in the Philippines, many children who have not been engaged in school because because of these issues uh, are actually uh, having a lot of mental distress. Mm -hmm. So you may think it's a tablet, you may think it's just a PC, but based on our, what we have found, it builds confidence yeah, so that the children that. can actually. Yes, mm -hmm. they can actually. They can actually. They're engaged even if they're remote, right? And they can keep up. You know, one of the students that we gave a tablet to last year from Barangay Sincamas, uh, Jasia Lagi, he made it to Makati Science High School. Wow. And so when you when, when you see yes, and so when you see a you know when you see a great story like that, it just mm -hmm. it, it's, it's extremely so heartwarming. Hard. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. And Aliyah, uh, following all this, so uh, for further information, where can people uh, contact you to inquire more about this initiative, perhaps uh, to join your group as well? Sure, 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 sure. Okay, we have a website, right? And um, our website is rcmakatipremier.org. Again, that's rcmakatipremier.org. And if you go there, you'll see the many projects we're involved in. And there's a tab specifically for concert. In fact, you won't miss it. <laughs> because as soon as you log in there, there's a little window that says, hey, we got a concert going on. Please support. So, yeah, just go to rcmakatipremier.org. Right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. All right. On that note, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Leia Quesada. You stay safe. Thank you, Nikki. Meanwhile.